Uh, I'm connecting here from Regina, where I'm fortunate to live and work on Treaty 4 territory. These are the traditional territories of the Nehewak, Anishinaabek, Dakota, Lakota, and Nakota, and the homeland of the Métis Michif Nation. I recognize that a treaty land acknowledgement is only a very small step in the process of reconciliation, and I invite us all to consider how we might go beyond these small gestures in order to begin to mend broken treaties and the broken relationships between the settlers and the Indigenous peoples of this place. I'm very excited to introduce <laughs> our guest presenters today. Joanne Kehoe is the lead educational developer of digital pedagogy with the McPherson Institute of McMaster University. Julia Forsythe is the interim director of the Center for Pedagogical Innovation of Brock University. Both are incredibly talented and knowledgeable in many areas, including today's topic on alternate assessments. We are extremely fortunate to have them here to lead this session. And with, all, with that, I'll pass it on to Joanne uh, and Julia. Thanks, Alex. It's our pleasure to be here. Um, I do also want to acknowledge that we are on the traditional territory. I'm here at Brock University in the Ni beautiful Niagara region, which is the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe peoples. And um, my colleague Joanne is just up the highway, um, just a, a up the road, um, and she's also on the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee, but also the Mississauga. And on the screen, we have the wampum belts. I don't know if many of you have seen these before, but um, we this area is protected uh, under this, uh, it's called the Dish with One uh, Spoon Wampum Agreement. And the, the, the dish is are all of these rich resources that we are so grateful to um, the Indigenous communities that have um, really stewarded this land. Um, my office is looking out right now into the Bruce Trail, which um, goes all the way very far, and that land has been used for um, since before our recorded history. Um, so we're very grateful for that and, and where we are. So we would like to ask you to consider where you are placed. I know I have some of my colleagues here from Brock University and probably some places all across Canada. So if you want to say hello and who you are in the chat and, and maybe let us know um, what your traditional territory is, that would be great. Thank you. I'll let Joanne add to her the land acknowledgments if you want. And Joanne's um, driving this uh, beautiful slide deck. So Joanne, if you go to the next slide. <laughs> Thanks. Um, yeah, so that's me uh, and here. Um, I want I came to this project because um, I, it's been like a career goal of mine to kind of um, get rid of the final exam because I really didn't feel it was doing all that we thought it was doing. And then March 2020 hit and um, people were kind of freaking out, uh, wondering what they're going to do about their final exam. So I did this little flow chart trying to convince people, maybe we could rethink the way this is our opportunity to really rethink um, what assessment could look like. Um, and Joanne is a great colleague of mine that I've worked with for many, many years um, in different projects. And so when we had the opportunity to work on this particular project, um, she took the lead and really did the heavy lifting. So I'm gonna pass it to her to do the next uh, part where she is the lead on this major project that um, I came to it through this avenue of trying to convince so many of my colleagues to maybe rethink what, what assessment could look like for teaching, learning and higher education. Thanks, Julia, and thanks, Alec, and hello, everyone. Nice to be here. Um, I'm really thrilled to share this project. It was one of those fun projects. When you're working with Julia, <laughs> everything is, is more enjoyable. So it was, uh, it was a great opportunity to work together collaboratively with Brock, and uh, we also worked with College Boreal. So I'm Joanne Kehoe. I work at McMaster, and um, I'll just be providing you a brief overview of how this project got started. Um, I just thought we'd just quickly go over a little bit of an agenda for the next, I guess, 84 minutes. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a reflection to kick things off, and then I'm going to talk about how the project evolved. We'll look at the resource. Maybe some of you already had the chance to look at it um, and go through some of the sections and some of the exemplars we built out. We're going to do a little bit of an activity um, and talk about how you might want to look at designing your own alternative assessments. And we can either share back or just have an open Q&A and, and share any follow-up resources. 